The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, Season 5, Episode 59 of The Chris Abraham Show. My name is Chris Abraham, Chris Abraham, Chris Abraham, Chris Abraham, Chris Abraham. This episode is all about the blindness that people openly have with regards to uh, how awful and terrible other people's tyrannies are compared to how wonderful and justified and just disorientated and just disoriented and righteous our tyranny is so i was listening literally i wish i could have clipped this i was listening to scott simon uh while i was riding my bike to park run have about a five mile ride from uh columbia pike in courthouse road down to down columbia pike left at 110, right at the other entrance to the um, south parking lot. No, the north parking lot of, uh, of Pentagon, then across the pedestrian bitter bridge onto that m- marina park, and then under the uh, overpass, and then onto the uh, Potomac side, Virginia side bike path that takes one to Roosevelt Island. And while doing that, there was a self-conscious, free, completely confident, no concept of irony or paradox or hypocrisy or sainsies. Scott Simon, who I personally know and have met down at Renaissance Weekend, who's a lovely, sweet man who cries almost incessantly, has a beautiful wife who I think is French and a beautiful daughter who is Chinese, I believe, and adopted, ethnically Han and adopted, and a ballet dancer who, whenever he thinks of his daughter, he bursts into tears because Scott Simon is a sweetie baby and I love him. He was talking about, um, I'm not even going to try to pronounce his name because I complete get it, completely get it wrong. The leader of Wagner presumably died and definitely died along with nine other people in the Wagner corporate jet, which fell kind of like a paper bird from the sky, according to a cell phone photograph of it. It didn't go down like a fighter or a, 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 a fighter plane in a World War II movie. It wasn't uh, Tora, Tora, Tora. It was like La la la, la la la, flip 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 crash. So, even though Vladimir Putin and the Russian Federation and the Russian representative are giving people, I'm sorry for the loss of his life, uh, Scott's and you know, presumably, I mean, honestly, I'm enough of a sociopath that. If there were a a Wagner CEO in my life who uh, presumably almost uh, tried to do a an armed coup against my uh, my state with armed people, literally, and who are not necessarily who are merc who are trained mercs and who are uh, like if I were Biden and uh, the president of. Blackwater slash Z slash Zhu slash whatever the name is uh, were to come with his forces towards the capital. I would, uh, and then he pulled off, but he did that whole thing. I would have blown up the plane too. So just to give you parody, I think anybody would blow up the, um, is it Przetskin? Przetski? I don't know. I have so many Russian novel characters in my head that like, I can't even... So, so Scott Simon, without any 
oh, this sounds familiar, without any concept of shame, humiliation, self-awareness, or uh, understanding of the hypocrisy. He said, totalitarian Putin uh, uh, killed his opponent, his opposition. He literally used the opposition. Um, Vladimir Putin killed his opposition, which is totally a tyrant thing to do. Unlike free and democratic America, that would never, ever target and in any way harm opposition in any way, because democracy, liberty, love, and happiness. And, I mean, talk about uh, tone deaf, right? Like, everything about the... Uh, um, um, everything about what's going on with every single person who was charged with insurrection versus charge, being charged with whatever, um, disorderly conduct or or uh, breaking and entering or like all these other kinds of crimes. People who are being summarily um, oppressed, disappeared into prison, um, indicted, charged, and jailed in response to a freedom of speech defiance against whether or not they believe Biden was or wasn't fairly elected in similar ways, exactly similar ways, to the way that Hillary Clinton and Stacey Abrams, etc., brought great attention to the fact that see, they believe that the their respective elections were stolen as well. Um, the way that Al Gore and George Bush, neither of whom went to jail. And so Scott Simon literally is like, unlike the tyranny of despots and tyrants like Vladimir Putin, who suppresses and oppresses uh, the opposition candidate or the opposition party or just general opposition to the uh, warmongeriness, invasion, and unfairness, terribleness, sociopathy, psychopathy of awful, awful Putin mania against the sweet, beautiful, honest state of Ukraine and the sweet, beautiful people of the EU. Because, of course, Putin if we let him win, we'll roll over all of Europe and take over the entire world because don't remember the fact that we said at the beginning of the war that um, he didn't have any weapons. All of his soldiers were decrepit and stupid and drunk. His generals were all corrupt and all of the tires on all of his uh, vehicles had, um, had dry rot. In spite of that, the Putin army would obviously take over the entire world were it given the ability to win in its war against, up until two years ago, um, the number two most corrupt country in the world uh, outside of, who is the other one? I think Niger. Niger and Ukraine have, up until the last few years, been in every single guide of the entire world, the most two corrupt most uh, countries in the entire world. And now they're like, you know, obviously trustworthy besties who, in spite of their, they completely had a metanoia. They had a, a turning away from corruption, turning toward the West, a metanoia, a renewal of heart from sin to godliness, from, from, uh, from corruption to to a healthy pink flesh. It was a miracle. A miracle. Thank God for democracy. Thank God for Joseph Biden. Thank God for NATO. Thank God for the European Union. And thank God for the beautiful people of Ukraine and the majestic Vlad Vladimir Zelensky, who totally wasn't an actor five years ago, playing the part in a comedic series where he was literally a school teacher, not an actor, not an actor. He was a school teacher who played the part in the TV show of being elected into the president of Ukraine, but not from an actor, from a school teacher. Pay no attention to the movie Wag the Dog. If you haven't seen the movie Wag the Dog, 
Do not watch the movie Wag the Dog. Do not read the book Wag the Dog. Those, that book and that movie are full of lies. And besides, it's fiction anyway. So don't listen to authors. Authors are writing pretty stories and pretty lies. Only read history books. History books always tell the truth. So back to Scott Simon. Scott Simon, literally, without laughing or taking a moment or accidentally giggling or that's the reason why he's on radio. If he was a video podcast, we'd be able to see him roll his eyes and shrug his shoulders and tilt his head and like do a side eye and a smile. He said that the tyrant known as Putin is known for so suppressing and oppressing and even killing, if not jailing and sending to the gulag any and all opposition to his power. Unlike America with democracy and freedom, Biden would never, ever, ever oppress, and the Democrats, of course, would never, ever, ever oppress, suppress, or jail, or uh, discredit, or kill anybody who is considered an opposition to the Democratic Party, to the democratic supremacy in a modern world, especially if that opposition had the primary desire of dismantling what the opposition believes to be uh, corrupt, unconstitutional, and totalitarian um, agencies such as CIA, FBI, DOJ, etc. So, Again, Scott Simon on NPR yesterday said that Putin bad, Biden good. Russia bad, America good. Russia oppresses opposition. America embraces opposition. Tries to give all the benefit of the doubt to all opponents, no matter what. Even if they took up arms against the dominant party. Even if they literally marched down the main highway into Moscow, Putin should have taken the higher road and turned the other cheek against Wagner, a trained mercenary group that kills on behalf of whomever can pay the highest to foment revolutions, regime changes, revolts, and literally piracy and looting in countries, especially in Africa, but around the world. And... God bless Scott Simon for all his either naivete or his good acting or his experience or what people generally call this kind of behavior is professionalism. Professionalism is code for being to being willing to say I was only following orders because following orders and doing what I'm told, quote, doing my job is professionalism. So on that note, I love you. I give you all the kisses. I give you all the butterfly kisses with my eyelashes. I give you all the consenting hugs and the consenting kisses and the consenting smooshes and the consenting smooches and lots and lots of love. And we'll see how the Adobe sound removing thing will work because I am at Penrose Square Park and they've got the uh, floor based. Uh, fountain going like a mofo and it's probably going to be let's see what the temperature is going to be today it will be a high of 84 with a 30 percent chance of rain and a six mile per hour northeast wind and it will be partly cloudy at the moment now it is 81 degrees and i love you I need you, I want you, with all my heart. <laughs> this was Season 5, Episode 59 of The Chris Abraham Show. My name's Chris Abraham. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, write a review, and tell all your friends. Don't forget to share on Mastodon, on Blue Sky, on Threads, on Insta, on Facebook, on Facebook Stories, on Instagram Stories, on YouTube Story Mix Store Face, on what else? For those of you freaks who are on 
uh, Truth Social and Gump. What is it called? Gump. And all y'all other people who are doing the doing, doing, doing. Uh, mahalo, aloha, and Godspeed to all the people of uh, of uh, of uh, of uh, Maui and the people from Lahaina, which is a favorite place that my dad, my mom, and I used to go visit because it was where Hawaii's uh, whaling industry was run from. It was sort of like the Groton. Uh, or the what is it called? Uh, Mystic Mystic Seaport Mystic Seaport of Hawaii. It, it just like is it Mystic Seaport near Groton in Connecticut, uh, or should I say Connecticut? Uh, Groton is it is it like Groton like in Connecticut is Lahaina the uh, Mystic Seaport of Hawaii? You tell me, Rada Sista Bra. Ohana. Ciao. for listening to the chris abraham show make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes until next time